What is going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're going to be looking at data analyst interview questions. Now there is so much that goes into the interview process I couldn't just fit it into one video. So let me show you what we're going to be talking about over the next four videos for the series. So the first video is our video today which is the data analyst interview questions and what we're going to be going over is the phone interview questions as well as the in-person interview questions. These are more of the broad general questions that you will be asked in almost any interview and then some industry specific questions that I have as well. We're also going to be going over the questions that you should ask after each interview, so that will be in today's video. The next video is going to be SQL technical interview questions, and I have already created this video and I think it's really good. It goes over about 15 to 20 technical interview questions that you could be asked on SQL, SQL being the thing that you're probably going to get asked most about for these entry-level or mid-level data analyst positions. And so I have the questions and the answers to those ranging from really easy to pretty difficult. So I think that one is going to be really important if you want to nail the technical interview questions. The next video is going to be what to say versus what not to say in a data analyst interview. This one I think is going to be really good because I've been conducting data analyst interviews over the past couple months. And let me tell you, some people really think they're saying the right thing and they are not saying the right thing at all. When someone asks, so what is your greatest weakness? Do not say that you're a perfectionist. So hopefully in that video, I can help you learn what things you should be saying to certain questions. And in the very last video, it's gonna be negotiating your salary. You went through this entire interview process, you nailed it, you got the job. Now, how do you get the most money for your position? So that is gonna be our very last video. And with all that being said, let's jump into our data analyst interview questions. So most of the time, you're gonna have a phone interview before you have an actual in-person interview. So for the phone interview questions, they're a little bit different. Most of the time, they're kind of broad questions, just trying to get to know you, see if you're gonna be a good fit. And then they bring you for the in-person interview to get to know you even more, go into more specific details to see if you are the right candidate for the position. So some of the questions that you might expect in the phone interview stage are right here. And again, these are not all inclusive. These are just some of the ones that I think are often asked um, and things that you should be expecting. So you should at least be ready for these ones, if not more questions. But let's look at these ones really quick. So the first one is gonna be, tell us about yourself. Then we'll have, why are you looking to leave your current position? Why do you think you're a good fit for this position? Uh, how do you like to be managed? Tell me about a time you demonstrated leadership. What is your greatest weakness? And describe what you do in your current role. These are some of the broad questions that you might be asked. I can't answer these questions for you. For the most part, everyone's answer will be a little bit different. But as a general rule of thumb, try to make yourself look good. Try to make yourself sound professional. Uh, really don't talk bad about yourself in any way. You want to have a positive attitude and say things in a positive light. And so just as a general rule of thumb, try to remember to do that. You probably will get some industry specific questions. So I work in healthcare. So I would probably ask, can you talk about some of your experience in healthcare just to kind of get to know what they've done in that sector? And then another question might be, what healthcare data have you worked with in your current job or past jobs? In healthcare, there's lots of different data that you can work with. And so understanding the type of data that they've worked with in this industry is really important. Now at the end, they almost always are gonna ask, do you have any questions? And you always want to have questions. Do not just say, no, not really, you covered everything. Always have a few questions in your back pocket because that shows that you're interested in the job and you want to get to know more. And that tells them that you really are serious about this position. Some examples of questions that you could ask are, what does a typical day look like for this position? How would you describe the culture here? What are the biggest challenges that someone in this position would face? And what are the next steps in the interview process? So this is for the phone interview, just to give you an idea of some of the questions that you might be asked. So you should be at least prepped and ready for these questions. Again, I cannot anticipate what your interviewer is gonna ask you. They may have some random question that you could never have anticipated, just answer it to the best of your ability. Most of the time for a phone interview, it really is just to get to know you, get to see if you're kind of a good fit for the position before they bring you in for an in-person interview. And in the in-person interview questions are a little bit different. Let's get to that next. For the in-person interview questions, typically they get a little bit more detailed, a little bit more specific. And so let's go over some of the questions that you might see. Now, I did say they get a little bit more specific, but oftentimes when you do those initial phone interviews, you're talking with maybe one person, maybe two people. And then when you come in for the in-person interview, there may be even more people. And so oftentimes they're gonna re-ask those exact questions that they had above. And so don't be surprised if you need to tell them about yourself again, explain some of those earlier questions that they already asked you. That is very common for them to do. Some other questions that they might ask you are, why should we hire you? Why do you think you're a good fit for this role? Where do you see yourself in five years? One that they'll do a lot is where they'll look on your resume and look at something specific and ask you about that. So I see on your resume, tell us about that. 
And then would you consider yourself an independent worker or a person who collaborates more? Now, I personally don't like some of these questions, but I will say that most people are going to ask these questions. So where do you see yourself in five years? I personally don't like that question, so I do not ask it to the people that I'm interviewing, but I do understand that a lot of people ask this question and a lot of people will get asked this question when they're in an interview. So I did add it to this list. So for the in-person interview, you will also get industry specific questions. Again, I am in healthcare, so these are kind of more geared towards things that I would be asking. So some of the questions that I might ask are, can you talk about some of your experience in healthcare? What healthcare data have you worked with in your past jobs or the job that you currently have? Talk about the work that you've done with healthcare data. And I'm looking for a few specific things. I wanna know that they have the industry knowledge. So I'm looking for things like claims, oncology, hematology, ICD-9 and 10, CPT. These are all keywords or buzzwords that I'm looking for that tells me that they've worked with that kind of data before. So if they come on my team, I know that they have that industry knowledge already. How would you handle missing or inaccurate data for XYZ? And what are your first steps when analyzing a data set? I think this is a really good place to start for these industry specific questions. If you can answer these questions for your industry, I think you set yourself in an advantage because I have asked these questions to people in an interview and a lot of people do not know how to answer them. And so if you already know how to answer these or if you can do some research and figure out how to answer these questions, I think that will really set you apart. After your in-person interview, they will most likely say, do you have any questions and you want to have questions readily available? So here are some options that you can pull from if you need any. The questions are, what are the most important things you'd like to see accomplished in this position in the first 30, 60, and 90 days on the job? Is this work typically more independent or collaborative? Can you tell me a little bit more about the team that I'd be working with? Uh, how is the culture at this company? And what are the next steps in the interview process? I think this is a really good place to start when you're prepping for your data analyst interview questions. A lot of these questions are gonna be asked. In fact, I think a majority of these questions will be asked at some point during your interview whether a phone interview or an in-person interview. So just walking through these and trying to answer them yourselves and seeing if you have a good answer could be really beneficial in the long run. Now remember, these questions are probably not the only types of questions that you're gonna get. You may also get technical questions. And that's why in the very next video, we're gonna be going over SQL technical interview questions. And I think that one is so important because if you mess up the technical questions, you probably are not gonna get offered the job. Be sure to check out that video next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.